getting out all that excess energy, whether it's anger or sadness or frustration, just let it all go in the dance moves, baby. Like, <laughs> just let it all out. Hello and welcome, my friends. I'm so happy you could have joined me for this conscious conversation. I wanted to talk to you about raising your vibration. Now, there are a lot of different techniques in how you can do this, and honestly, I just wanted to, for fun, share with you the ones that definitely have worked for me. And I've also noticed that I decided to, you know, raise my vibration, and I've been really trying to be very proactive about whenever like negative thoughts or doubts or worries are coming into my consciousness, I immediately try to respond in the opposite direction with gratitude, with some of these techniques to raise my vibration, and then when I'm in that high vibe, I tend to set like my manifestations or goals that I want to achieve and really like visualize that and having the high vibe with the manifestation really has like gone together perfectly and it creates like faster results in all honesty. So I have experienced personal success with this and so I wanted to share it with you and I hope that it'll help you. So let's dive in to the four manifestation techniques to raise your vibe, baby. Let's hit it. <laughs> so starting off with the first technique is, of course, I'm sure you've heard of it, gratitude. So giving out gratitude in any way that really resonates with you, whether that's, you know, getting a gratitude journal and recording just a few things that you're grateful for every single day, or whether it's going outside and really taking the time to like be present and one with nature and give out gratitude that way. Or honestly, just like as simple as like, you know, all throughout your day, that's the way I like to do it. And the way I like to give gratitude is like when I'm making my food, I just like remind myself to be like, I'm so grateful that I have this food. I'm so grateful that I get to nourish myself. I'm so grateful that my food is so colorful. I'm so grateful that I can see colors. And honestly, like when I just like be present for all the things that are happening in my life and being grateful for them, it really just like spirals down to like endless things that I'm grateful for. You know, when I'm in the shower, I'm grateful for this warm water. I'm grateful for the pressure of it. I'm grateful that it's cleansing my body. I'm grateful that I can imagine it being source white light and it's just giving me this purifying cleanse internally and externally and I'm so grateful for this and you know just just every single day you know brushing your teeth I'm grateful that I have teeth to brush <laughs> I'm grateful that I care enough to take care of my teeth and to practice you know oral hygiene like literally it's endless. Gratitude is endless when you open yourself up to it. And sometimes that means starting out where you're at and what works for you. So figure out what works for you and give out gratitude. Like even when you're in like, you know, really stressful situation or something's really hard or you've like experienced a lot of resistance, um, you know, backing that up with gratitude can be really helpful. You know, don't dismiss your feelings or your emotions you know if you're really really sad like you can still be in that sadness but you know try to like end that sadness at some point don't let yourself get too overwhelmed in it let yourself give your give yourself enough time to feel the emotion and then you know back it up with some stuff that you're grateful for grateful that like you can cry grateful you can release like um it's just really good to back it up with gratitude and it picks you back up so number two is affirmations. I find that affirmations have really, really helped me and I make my own affirmation videos that I then listen to. And sometimes if like I really feel like called to certain affirmations, then I will turn those into my mantra. So basically affirmations are usually I am statements and they're usually empowering statements or statements that are positive and making positive changes for yourself. So you can ch like you can choose um, certain affirmations and make them your mantra for like your day, for your week, for maybe a tough season or cycle that you're going through and this can really really help and it can you know remind you of so many 
good things. Like it can remind you to be grateful. It can remind you, you know, to stay in that like higher vibration and know that good things are coming. And it also just like, I don't know, for me, it definitely like puts me in a higher vibe state because I'm reminding myself, like when I speak out affirmations, I'm reminding myself of that unlimited potential that I possess and how limitless this life is and how many like options and I feel like affirmations remind me of that and I get excited and so it like lifts me up. So um, I definitely have many affirmation videos up here on YouTube. I have, you know, affirmation videos for your different chakras, which can really help to unblock your chakras because when your chakras are balanced, unblocked, and then you're also amplifying that certain chakra, each chakra helps manifest something. So a lot of people do believe that, for instance, manifesting money would come from your third eye possibly thinking that intuition, bringing it towards me with positive thoughts, but really you actually draw in money through your sacral and root chakra because you're connected to the universe. And so you want to tap into that universal currency, getting money to flow to you. So it's really important to make sure that your root chakra is unblocked and grounding you to the earth and reminding you that you deserve everything exactly as you are how you are right now you deserve to be supported because this is your home this is your earth and that naturally should be given to you and you should tap into that and that can affirmations can help it can help you tap into that and that root chakra sacral chakra that creative energy that also is very magnetic energy and it will draw in abundance as well so i mean i could definitely make like a whole other video honestly on chakras and how to manifest with them let me know if you guys are interested in that and i could definitely make that into another video but back to affirmations definitely I definitely recommend them and also if you are trying to attract money I did make an affirmation video of all my favorite affirmations to bring in money and to mostly lift your vibration so that you're matching the frequency of money you know when we match the vibration of the things that we desire that's when things really just effortlessly flow and they click and they come together so those affirmations definitely you know lift your vibration up to the frequency of receiving money and so that could really help you if you're looking to manifest money some extra some extra ching look into it i'll link that video up here in the corner up here in the corner <laughs> okay Number three, another very cool way to lift your vibration and also can help with manifestation is tapping. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. I started tapping um, a few years ago, back in 2016, for my neck injury. Um, I honestly, like my neck was so tight that I was experiencing like problems in my jaw and into my ear. And I experienced that like when I did tapping and I would like even stayed out sometimes affirmations at the same time for my healing that um, it really helped. It re relieved pain when I had anxiety. Tapping has relieved anxiety. Tapping is amazing. And so when you tap, when you tap, you're basically amplifying this power in you because it's like you're remaining present. So there's many places that you can tap and I could honestly make a whole video on tapping. If you guys are interested in that one, let me know. But really, you can just, just by, like, I have some um, meditations where it's for opening your third eye. Um, I think also it's in the affirmation video. But um, I encourage you to tap your third eye while speaking out these affirmations. And honestly, just if you try this with me right now, like, if you just tap and you can close your eyes. You don't have to keep your eyes open. But you can just tap in between your, um, your in, in between your eyebrows here. And then maybe move it down just to like your cheekbones right here underneath your eyes and just tap softly. You don't have to apply a bunch of pressure, just tapping. And honestly, like if you do this, doesn't it feel somewhat soothing to you? And you're also just, it's bringing you into the present moment, into this, into this moment right here. It's just, it's constantly reminding you. It's like constantly reminding, tap, 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 like remember you're here. And so I just feel like, you know, whenever you pair this tapping with this remaining present moment with affirmations, it's not only like relieving a lot of anxiety and stress and you, you just feel so much more soothed in all honesty, but that also is getting you into that higher vibrational state. So then whatever you speak out becomes that much more powerful. So if you're really trying to get into a high vibe or you're experiencing 
like if you're going having an, even a panic attack, you know, you could try tapping, um, especially if like you're able in your attack to tap yourself. You could do the karate chop if that helps. You can tap on your chest. Um, I find this one to be the most soothing and I usually have my hand over my eye like that. So I don't know why. It just provides me with soothing, with some comfort. And um, it can definitely bring you out of that low vibrational state. Um, definitely important though with this one to drink a lot of water after tapping. Um, you know, it's a type of energy work and when you're doing energy work or any type of healing, it's really important to drink a lot of water because it takes water. Like we are mostly water and when you're using a lot of that energy, um, you just want to make sure that you're replenishing it and keeping yourself hydrated, baby, for those high vibes. Okay, let's get to the last one, the fourth and final one on how to raise your vibration. Okay, the fourth way that you can raise your vibration is through music. Music, dancing, singing, these are key to raise your vibe. I sometimes will be in the most pissed off mood. I will be so mad and, or sad even. I'll be like mad, sad, I'll be smad. I'll be smad and then I'll wanna raise my vibration so I get out of that because sometimes I just like get really frustrated and it just gets worse. So I try to like raise my vibe and a way that I've definitely found to do this is by listening to music. Put on some music that really makes you feel happy and uplifted and that you want to dance to because when you dance it out, like you're getting out all that excess energy, whether it's anger or sadness or frustration, just let it all go in the dance moves, baby. Like <laughs> just let it all out and it feels so good. Trust me, trust me. And don't even worry if like, just dance like no no one's watching. Shake it all out. Jiggle it in all the places that are good. Let that energy flow out. It'd be even more amazing if you can visualize like a white light coming through you and just all that negative energy, all that no longer serves is just like being shaken out in the music and it's going out into the universe, into the abyss, into the blackness, never to come into your body again. That energy's wasted. It's no longer needed and we're bringing in those high vibes. Now, something else that I like to do in regards to, you know, dancing and everything is in fact singing. So, and sometimes like, yeah, it's just singing a song and I love to do that, but I do this like thing that I think is pretty common actually for Sagittarius. Maybe it's fire signs in general, because I've noticed my other friends do this too, but it's to like sing song. So when I'm wanting to like raise my vibration and think about like what I'm grateful for or what I'm manifesting, I will sometimes sing it out. So let's say that I'm, it's breakfast time and I'm making myself some coffee because I feel very sleepy. I'm just like making myself some coffee. I'm gonna get in the zone and edit. Everything's manifesting. Yeah, baby, come and get it. Like I'll just like rhyme and do like whatever I can to like remind myself of like what I'm trying to do in that day, like bringing that energy in and getting into that high vibe. And I am in no way like an amazing singer. It's just fun and it makes you feel good. It's like, it's connecting to that childlike nature and it feels good to sing and it feels good to like see if like you can, you know, match rhythm with your words and put it all together. And honestly, it like really is a powerful technique. So if you are trying to manifest something and you're trying to like get into that high vibe zone and then speak it out into the universe, sometimes like I'll just say universe, this one's for you. This is what I'm wanting and I will sing it out and it's fun. And I feel like it makes me happy, which is just amplifying my power. And you know, anyone who's watching, I'm bound to make them laugh. So who doesn't like to laugh? Like providing joy for for everybody. It's great. It's high vibes, babe. So I wanted to share with you because you waited till the end of this video listening to all this high vibes. I wanted to share with you a fifth secret one that I love to utilize, which is if you are like me and you like to work out, you like to be athletic or you, you know, do yoga or Pilates or whatever it is. Like I mostly do home workouts. So it's really easy for me to like get in this zone that I'm about to like share with you, but you could do this anywhere and with any type of workout. When I'm working out, when I have that blood flowing and I'm in this rhythm of like inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, and that's what I'm mostly focused on. I can feel the blood rushing through my veins. I decide to bring in white light, sometimes it's pink light, 
Um, it depends on like what I'm trying to bring in. Like for instance, let's say I'm trying to manifest more money. I will visualize myself in white light and I visualize like this purple light coming towards me and it's entering in my chest and it enters into my body and then it just like auras like out all around me, this beautiful purple light and it's just coming from like the infinite and then gold sparkles all come down and I'm like working out and I'm like breathing into it and I'm just like imagining this like flowing into my body and that's abundance. So, I mean, you could visualize it any way that you think of abundance. You could visualize gold coins showering down on you as like you're getting it, babe. You're doing your like boxing Pilates. <laughs> like just gold coins are showering down on you or maybe you like to visualize cash and so cash is just flowing into you like just visualize it have fun with it play with it because when you're you know working out you're energized you are calling in this like amazing magnetism like you are magnetic in that moment because you're already in a high vibe because because of the way that you've been breathing it gets blood flowing it gets oxygen in and what is oxygen well in my opinion oxygen is a form of white light source energy so you're breathing in all that source energy and it's running through your body this is the time this is when like you're the most magnetic so visualize what it is you want to manifest whether that being in the present moment you're trying to manifest like your dream body visualize your dream body what does that look like and get in the zone with it if you want to manifest money visualize money coming towards you if you want to manifest that vacation that move that house whatever it is you're in a high vibe state when you're already got the blood pumping in that workout and so just visualize it and bring it in and that has like really lifted my vibe and it also really helps my workout because if I'm like, you know, struggling and I'm like huffing and puffing, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. I just want to give up. I bring in that visualization again. And I'm like, yeah, if I pump it some more, this visualization is going to get like more powerful and it's going to like beam out and it's just going to be that much more magnetic and it's going to come to me faster. So yeah, let's get this. We can do it. And I finish strong and it feels so good. It feels good to finish strong. It feels good to push through things that are difficult. And so that's why I have complete faith in you that you can do it too. You can push through anything that is thrown your way now because you know how to raise your vibration, baby. You know how to get into that high vibe state. So even if things get you down, which things are always constantly being thrown at us, you at least know how you can pick yourself back up. Let me know if there's anything in this video that I mentioned that you want clarified or more explaining. Go ahead and click the subscribe button because it really helps support this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love it if I could hear you in the comments and your opinions. Let's meet in the discussion platform. I love it and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you so much, my friends. Namaste. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> High vibes, baby. High vibes. I don't know. I'm just being silly. <sighs> okay.